Casper, congratulations. Quite a statement you've sent out today. Um, yeah, it, was, it was a good result. I wouldn't, wouldn't say it was a statement. We were clinical when we had the chances. Um, probably could have had more, maybe. But um, a very, very disciplined, very tactically disciplined performance. To go behind and, and to come back and win again for the second week in succession, a real sign of, of what this team is about. Yeah, we need to, we need to stop going behind. Um, so obviously that, that's something that we need to work on. But I think when, you, when you've been in this group for so long, you know this group, it, you know, we don't get carried away. It's a, it's a decent start, but we have to back it up next week. You say it's a decent start, three, three wins from, from three games. Is this something to, to build on now? Yeah, it's definitely something to build on. I mean, we, uh, we go into every single game looking to win, and, and today we, we kind of had to change the way we play a little bit and, uh, and be very, very disciplined, and, and we, you know, we were getting ready for a really hard shift, and, and it, was a, it was hard work out there for the boys, you know, and, and yeah, I, I, I actually didn't have that much to do because they, they were great in front. The match ball in the changing room with JD, Jamie, three goals, three clinical finishes. Yeah, he's a he's a top striker. You know, he's he's ruthless. Um, you, know, you said it yourself, clinical. Um, the type of guy you want when uh, when you need goals, when you need a, a big performance against big teams. He's a, he's always a man. A word on Daniel Amati, who was in the back three, nearly two years without playing in the Premier League. Incredible. Quite a way to come back. Incredible. Um, you know, having followed his journey from from such a horrific injury. Um, and, and you know the persistence, the determination to come back, to come in and play Arsenal, Manchester City, and play as well as he has done is, is a huge testament to him as a, as a guy. You know we've missed him in the dressing room on, on match days. Um, you know our medical staff deserve huge credit. You know they've, they've worked so hard with him for so long, and uh, you know he's, he's never given up hope. And um, yeah, he's a great guy, and we're, we're just really happy to have him back. Clearly, you miss the fans on every game, but a, a game like today would have been great to be celebrating with them in the corner. They'll have been celebrating wildly at home. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. Football isn't the same without fans, and uh, I think it's probably a very good lesson, a very good reminder to, to the footballing world that, that without fans, it's, it's not the same. And um, yeah, when you when you have a game like this, a win like this, it's, uh, it doesn't quite feel the same when when, uh, when there's no cheering when when you win or score.